You, the fan, have spoken, and we have the results to this week's Voice of the Fan, which we asked you which team has been the most disappointing in the 2012 NFL season. Here to talk about the results with associate editor Arthur Arkish. And Arthur, let's start at the bottom. The Panthers only got 4% of the vote. The Bills were next with 5%. And then the Chargers came in 6 which is 6% of the vote. All three of those teams were disappointing in some regard, but which of those really stands out to you as to be the most disappointing team? To me, it's Buffalo, only because they're the team that went out on, obviously, the huge spending spree they brought in Mario Williams the biggest problem with that team has been the defense I thought that they were gonna have a dominant front four they haven't been able to stop the run they haven't done anything consistently offensively I've never really been a huge believer in Ryan Fitzpatrick but obviously that backfield is loaded they haven't been able to really divvy out the carries properly they haven't been able to keep Fred Jackson on the field so I think the culmination of those things makes them the least disapp uh, excuse me the most disappointing for me I also thought with the Jets and the Dolphins nowhere near contention I thought they may be able to have a chance to make a little bit of a move there in the division and similar to what you just mentioned about Buffalo the Chargers were in a weak division as seen by the way the Chiefs yeah. and Raiders have played so a lot of people thought they could challenge for a wild card or the division the Panthers at least they are in a pretty tough division in the NFC South. Going down the list, we had the Chiefs at 7%. Some people, including your dad, Hub, had them as a, a playoff team. The Jets at 8% and the Saints at 10%, which leaves us the Lions and the Eagles. The Lions came in second place with a surprising 29% of the vote. I think people thought the Lions were such a big disappointment this season. Well, because if you look at the list of, this, of these teams, I think you could argue that the Lions have the most talent of any of them. You know, they've got uh, just a totally prolific passing offense. They've got a very good front four, kind of comparable to what we were talking about, what we thought we'd see in Buffalo. So I think the pieces were there. Obviously, they got over the hump last season. But I have to say, I kind of saw some trouble coming before the season began. They didn't do anything to improve the secondary. I just thought they may be a little bit too one-dimensional on offense, which they've proven to be. And then, of course, Jim Schwartz. You have to wonder half the time who's running that asylum. So that's led to major issues with discipline for that football team. If the Lions don't beat the Bears in Week 17, they'll go 0-6 in the NFC North. It's a good division, but still, I don't think anybody expected them to be this bad this year. And then the Eagles came in first place, and, and they were the most disappointing team last year. Again in 2012, 31% of you thought they were the most disappointing team in 2012 and Arthur the fans actually agree with us here at PFW we did a poll a couple weeks back in which everyone here thought the Eagles were most disappointed what do you think was going through the fans head when they thought of putting the Eagles in this place much like the Lions just all kinds of firepower up and down this roster it just didn't come together for them they finished last season with a bang obviously the defense was playing lights out you thought with the full off season under Juan Castillo they may be able to get things going obviously that hasn't worked Castillo's gone Washburn is gone as well um, you you know, a head coach like Andy Reid, you don't see after the losing streak they had last season, it was just hard to fathom that could actually happen two years in a row. I think Andy Reid's a good head coach who's going to land on his feet, but that makes it all the more shocking they weren't able to put things together. Never did think Michael Vick was a Super Bowl quarterback, but I thought for sure that that talent would at least get them to the postseason in what's turned out to be a wide open NFC East that they weren't able to compete in. Another poor season for the Eagles, as you mentioned, likely it for Andy Reid in Philadelphia, but it shouldn't be long before we see him on the sideline again. And which team do you think has been the most disappointing? Eagles. It's got to be just up and down talent wise. They are the most disappointing to me and uh, it's going to show obviously with the absolute overhaul they're going to have in the offseason. I agree with you Philadelphia. I'll throw San Diego in there as well. I picked them as my AFC West sleeper team. I thought they were going to make a run at that division. They made a lot of moves in the offseason. It did not pan out for San Diego. Which team did you think was most disappointing? Do you agree with the other fans in these results? Let us know in the comment section on our YouTube page and head to our website at ProFootballWeekly.com.